I'm grateful to be able to share in the sacrament of baptism this morning, and I welcome Tyler Hudson and Grace Northern who come forward with their third child for the sacrament of baptism. It was a joy to share in the baptism of Magnolia and George, the big brother and big sister who are here. We welcome the family that's with them. Uh, Chuck Hudson and Libby Hudson are grandparents in our congregation. I'm thinking of Grace's parents who live in Louisville uh, as we share in gathering around this family with such love here today. And Teal Smith is going to come and represent the session standing with them. And I welcome the uncles and aunts and extended family who are here and watching online. And if you all will come back here, good job. Friends, this family sign of identification, of belonging, is called baptism. Here we remember that God gave us this sacrament to help us welcome one another into Christ's family. Here we remember that what God did in the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, he did for this little girl in particular. Please pray with me. We thank you, loving God, that you are faithful to your promises. We thank you for the way we see your mighty acts in history and salvation here as we gather at this font of water. We remember your promise that you are our God from generation to generation. Indeed, we see that played out amongst us in this story today. We ask that you would take this water and set it apart from a common to a sacred use and grant that what we do here on earth is confirmed in heaven. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Grace and Tyler, as you bring your daughter forward for the sacrament of baptism, I ask you if you're able once again to profess your own faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Are you? Good. And you also have the chance to make promises as the family of love that God has placed around her, as the representatives of the Church of Jesus Christ, as those who share with us online in the connectedness of Christian fellowship, as the representative of session. Can you promise to pray for these parents as they partner with God in the raising of this child? Can you be sure to lift up the example of your own character, that as she grows she might see it and be guided to it to her own good confession? <laughs> Can you help to ensure that there exists a church in the world where she can learn the stories of the Scripture until she comes to confess her own faith on her own? If you can support them in this way, please signify that by saying, I will. Good. What name shall be given to this child, her full name? Mary Claire Hudson. Hi. Mary Claire <laughs> Hudson, child of the covenant. I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Spirit of God descend upon thee and dwell within thee forever. Magnolia and George, would you all help me walk down the aisle? We want to welcome her, and we do that by singing. Take my hand. All right, yeah. Take her hand, George. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Please pray with me. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of being here with this little girl and her family. We thank you that we are able to be those who say to her, welcome into the family of Jesus Christ. Help her to grow up now safely in, in wisdom and faith across childhood and adolescence. We pray for her parents and all who share with them as they partner with you in raising her. Give them courage and energy and wisdom and laughter 
and patience and faith and hope and love. And we pray not only for this little girl and the children here this morning, but for all of those you love, your children in the world. We pray for those who are hungry, those who are hurting, those whose cries are because of pain or danger. Oh Lord, use us as a part of your compassionate care reaching out to them. We pray remembering how Jesus said, let the children come unto me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. This is a wonderful thing that God has done. <laughs> she is a sign of God's goodness to us. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job, George. Good job, Magnolia. Thank you for sharing with us.